Hello YouTube, Utz here. Welcome back to episode 37, I believe it is, of our All Achievements Challenge in Modded Minecraft. Little recap on the last stream. Uh, we build, we built method of making some more glass. Sorry, that, sorry that's pretty loud. <clears throat> sorry about my voice this morning. Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm a 14 year old boy uh, going through puberty. Uh, but anyway, to be able to complete the solar expansion. Um, Let's see, uh, achievements. Let's see, this advanced solar redstone, right? Or advanced solar panel. <clears throat> to make one of those, we need 47 that, we need six, what is that? Over 6,000 pieces of redstone. We need eight of those to make this final tier one, right? So you can see I'm missing, I only have 4,700 and I'm missing 2,400. So we need, what is that? Just, just over 7,000 pieces of redstone. Um, so we need like, what's seven times eight? 56, we need just shy of 60,000 pieces of redstone to make the ultimate solar panel, which is insane. Now that machine is insane, don't get me wrong, it makes so much power. Um, it's absolutely amazing, it makes more power than what our wheat farm is doing, um, maybe. And yeah, it is, it is. Um, so one of these, you know, we'll plop down one of these for our, um, anything, really. It's going gonna, it's gonna to increase our banks tremendously. Um, but we also need a bunch of glass. We need like over 100,000 pieces of glass. <clears throat> We're almost there on the glass. Uh, and we will be there soon. And actually I'll be tearing this down because uh, we'll have plenty of glass. Redstone's an issue. So I did make this machine up here, which takes his, takes the uh, Natura blood saplings. And on the stream I didn't have this timer, but I thought it was prudent because uh, otherwise it, the tree just continues to grow, grow, grow. But all this really does is plant that sapling with an autonomous activator. I have some bone meal in here as well, uh, lots of it. Harvester picks it up because it's a 4x4, four four. Uh, goes into the chest. The um, wood goes in here and it makes power to keep this thing going. Uh, you'll see the wood go in here once this harvester starts to work. And then we just have uh, water coming down into it. So yeah, the blood wood goes in here and it's like coal almost, you know, and the burn time isn't very much, but it, it seems to be producing enough power if it doesn't we'll put a tesseract up here. And then I uh, just got some filters to the sapling goes in there. Everything else just ends up in the chest, including redstone, because these leaves produce redstone. Uh, and also, I've got witches um, being spawned over here, which produce redstone and glowstone. So redstone is going to be a problem. Um, if anybody knows of any other way to make redstone, please let me know. I do see that there's a way to double redstone with uh, Batania. Take a look here. So we put, not there. Um, come on, I saw you earlier. Here we go. So with a conjuration catalyst, which I don't even know anything about, one redstone with mana makes two redstone. So once we get into Batania, it seems like we can double uh, with mana and that conjure stone or whatever it does or however you make it. But I think we're going to be a while from that. Um, so just wanted to... What are you doing in there, Enderman? Just wanted to let you guys uh, know about that. But today we are going to see about getting further down this path. Um, I think it's probably going to take another episode or two to get through this. So craft an engineer's workbench. Let's go ahead and get these out of the way, as far down the path as we can. Engineer's workbench. Let's get us one of these. And we have probably none of that stuff. Do I have any treated wood at all? Yes, we do. But obviously not enough. All right. Uh, 
Okay, you mean crafting of this? Oh yeah. Cool. I have a feeling we're gonna need more of that, right? Work a bench. Uh, let's make that. And looks like we need crafting table. So some wood. And we need some more wood. What are you doing to me, game? All right, now we can make a workbench. <clears throat> Time to tinker. It's the, uh, the second tinker's thingy. All right, so now what do we do with that thing? I have no idea. Um, this will tell us. Craft an engineer's skyhook, mining drill, a railgun, chemical thrower, and revolver. So let's start here. Engineer's skyhook. That sounds like fun. Um, wooden grip. Okay. Uh, we have all this stuff. Woohoo! Booker, catch! Is it a skyhook? Really? Like, how's this thing work? I have no idea. Let's see what that did. I'm sure if I read the book, it'll tell me. Travel a total of one kilometer with a skyhook. Ooh. That could be fun. So we got to figure out how that thing works. All right. Um, book. Uh... What the heck is the name of the immersive engineering book? You got in here? Yep. Engineer's manual. So, Skyhook. Engineer's Skyhook. Engineer's Skyhook is a motorized grabber system designed to hook onto wires, hemp ropes, or steel cables. With it, engineers can quickly traverse the length of a power line to move between substations or other installations. Sounds logical enough. Simply hold the right mouse button while close to a connector and you will be attached to the wire. Release the button at any time or sneak will cause you to dismount. You cannot start in the middle of a wire. You must attach to a connector. Okay. Let's see how this thing works. So if I put a connector here and a connector here. Maybe it's not the same type of connector. <clears throat> Cannot start, I need a wire. <clears throat> uh, looks like I need a wire as well. Maybe, I don't know. We're going to figure it out. Wire, wire. All right. Too far away. Darn you. So what is the length of one of these wires? Uh-huh. Uh. Guess it doesn't really say. Doesn't really give me a length. That's kind of bunk. Kind of bunk. Let's just see if it's ten. 
It's at least 10. I'm right clicking here. Oh. <clears throat> All right, well, that gives me an idea. All right. <laughs> Let's find out what the distance of this thing is. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see if it'll do from that to that, right? Because I already have all these stations. If it will, then we'll be in business. Yes, it will. All right. So you know what we need to do, right? We need to make a bunch of these, place them along these lines, and then travel down this line, which is what we use to do the on a rail, which is another 1K type of travel achievement. So let's do that. It's going to be fun, I think. And then all I got to do is right click for a while. So let's make like 30 of those, I guess. And then wires. I guess I would need 30 of those too. Probably going to need more than that, but we'll start with that number. Work our way up. Come on, game. Come on, game. So, how's everybody doing? I myself am pretty good. Um, Excited to start playing again. Um, I had a huge project that I was working on the last few weeks at work. I finally came to an end. Um, well, I won't say it came to an end. It's coming to an end. We still have a couple uh, cleanup pieces of cleanup to accomplish um, before I can officially call it over. The major task is complete. Um, and I did close that task as being completed, but um, there's still some residual cleanup. Basically, all right, I work at a bank, right? I work in IT. And we have, every bank has a core processing system. So everybody's customers transactions roll up into this core. Um, <clears throat> whether or not it's, you know, whatever kind of payment type it might be for, you know, deposit, uh, one quick. Count of 55, so I'm going to get a stack. <clears throat> so whether it's a, a deposit, a withdrawal, to whatever product type, uh, payment to whatever loan or utility or whatever whatever have you you know a, a transaction gets rolled up into uh, our core environment uh, so I'm just gonna make a stack here 60 will be fine uh, hard and clay how do I make hard and clay I gotta smelt some clay. So yeah, it gets rolled up into this court. And 
coming out of that core, there's a bunch of tables in it, right? And we have a lot of integration jobs that rely upon that data because you also have customer information in there and then the transaction history and you know, there's audit logs and stuff like that. <clears throat> I apologize for my voice. So you've got to be able to extract all this information out of it. The old server was running SQL Server 2005, which is no longer supported by Microsoft. The new server is running SQL Server 2014. Large change in technology, right? I mean, they're very similar, but uh, there's been a lot of changes in between the two uh, versions. So we have a bunch of databases that needed to be moved and restored, and some connections needed to be tweaked. Uh, and what we're running into now with some of those integration jobs, um, a couple of the connectors need to be redone. Uh, so we have like, I want to say at least four jobs that are a little bit iffy. Um, <clears throat> and it's all dependent upon one, one connection back to a cache database, which I have never heard before until I um, started messing with, with this system. Um, <clears throat> And uh, it's a unique database set. Um, very, I I'm gonna say. <laughs> I need thirty wires too. But it's getting there. You know, it's it's very very close to being done. And I had spent the last twelve consecutive days at work. So two full weeks, you know, two normal five to five days. Uh, weekdays, and then also a weekend. <clears throat> Today's a Saturday, by the way. But um, I was able to take a half day yesterday. Um, I kind of missed Father's Day because I was working. So I spent some time with my family. Uh, we went to the pool and um, to a pool <clears throat> and had some fun there. And uh, we you know we just hung out for the rest of the day. Which was quite fun, but uh, I'm glad that that project is just about over. I've been spending months on it, preparing. Um, I learned a lot, and uh, I'm glad it's almost over. <clears throat> now I can get back to the other stuff I was working on before that project came around. <laughs> and I don't know, it's not like we didn't know this was coming. I mean, Microsoft gives you their retirement schedule when a product comes live. They know what is going to end, but I guess we just didn't have the resources to work on it prior to this. And uh, I think sometimes management underestimates just how long it takes to do stuff like that. Um, but, like I said, it's, it's about done. A couple little things to clean up. I am having to run a job manually every night around 9 o'clock, which sucks. But, uh, not that the world. We all get it. And just like we're going to get this achievement. <clears throat> Alright, now we connect the cables. Let's just go ahead and put one here at the end. Just so. Oh, and I have to connect to it from this system is really cool. Immersive engineering. It's I think the graphical piece of it is really uh, intriguing for people. Um, you know, it looks like power lines, right? And we didn't even see all the components of it. Like you can actually make a post. <clears throat> if you've never put Pillade this pack before, or this mod. <clears throat> you can make a post that looks like a power post. Uh, which is pretty cool. I 
we're getting near the end of this. This is going to be pretty cool, I think. It's a neat little, now that I think about it, it's, it's a pretty cool method of transport <clears throat> if you're really, uh, you know, think it, think about it like this. If you, uh, Here's what I can imagine. Say you have towns, right? Say you want to build a metropolis or whatever, and you want to use these wires, and you want to bring power through these cables from your main power installation to your cities, right? or your towns and you want to use these just to make it look realistic well what 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 happens if like your power is not coming over and you think you have a problem you could use this sky hook to travel it not only to get to point to point but also to uh, troubleshoot any disconnects in your wiring so it seems like it could have multiple uses beyond transportation it could also be used for debugging uh, troubleshooting, whatever you want to call it. I tend to use troubleshooting for management because that's what they understand. <clears throat> but when I talk to tech guys, it's debugging, right? <laughs> so what you're doing is debugging. Fixing your code, man. Even though this isn't in the same scope. And it makes sense that we ran out because we need two for every one, so I think another. So I think get half a stack. Alrighty. Whoa. I'm glad we got like creative flight to do this. Or else uh it'd be a pain. Come on. Right. Up from there to there. Alright, so that's the system. Are you ready to do this? I'm ready to do this. Here we go. Let's just look at the achievement again. Travel a total of one kilometer with the Skyhook. So we're going to get it in advance just because uh, we did some playing around already. <laughs> this is pretty cool. All I'm doing is right clicking. I'm not flying. At least I don't think I am. Let's see if that achievement comes up. I imagine it's going to happen right about that tree or right around that tree. Not that tree. There's a bigger tree out there. I'm hoping the Draconic Flight doesn't like mess with it. I think the game thinks I'm still flying instead of traversing on this hook. We're going to find out soon enough. It feels like I'm on the hook because I, you know, you see how I dip in and then come back out and dip in and come out. So it feels like I'm traveling on the hook. 
That tree is the one I was thinking about. Because I probably went uh, 100 meters, maybe 50 meters. It definitely should happen before the end of this. <clears throat> definitely should happen before the end of this. Wow. <clears throat> Pretty sunset. Off into the horizon. A little bit of mood lighting. Looks like these connectors put off a little bit of light. Could be the redstone torch. <clears throat> that village back there is cool. There it is. Skyline Master. Pretty cool. All right. That's going to be the title of the video. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.